what's up guys it's IDM here and today I'm gonna show you how to install Lollifox version 6 which is a lollipop based KitKat ROM I mean a KitKat based lollipop ROM for the Vivo 4 now before we get started you have to watch my both my videos on how to root your Vivo 4 and how to get a custom recovery as you can see I'm in the custom recovery right now and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe the whole device so what you're gonna do Wait, before anything, before I forget, make sure you back up your device. Click on everything that uh, you boot recovery, anything that has um, memory megabytes in it. And then once it uh, backs up, it's going to create a file over here on Twerp. Hold on, because it shows you the whole boot, and it should be here on EMCC. There you go. And Twerp, there should be backups, and then on backups, there's going to be a folder with your backup. Now put that safely on your computer. Also make sure you back up your contacts and your pictures so you can trans transfer them to the new ROM. Now what you want to do is you want to wipe your whole device and you want to click on advanced wipe. You're going to wipe the cache, the system, the data and the memory card. And then you're going to select to wipe. Now once that's all done you just want to click on back and then you want to click on mount. And now we're going to plug this in the computer to put the ROM into the phone because right now the phone has no ROMs, has nothing, it's completely empty. So meet me in the computer and I'll show you how to get the ROM. Okay guys, while your phone is in recovery, you want to plug it into the computer and it's going to recognize it as a GNES 5.5 and you should be able to access the root file of your phone. Now, on this website which will be linked in the description, you want to click here and download the, the V6 beta of Lollicat, of Lollicat and then what you want to do is log in because it's not going to let you and also disable adblock because it's also not going to let you if you have it enabled now in case you want any other ROMs rather than this one the install process is the same there's so many ROMs in here there's MIUI there's also an Xperia ROM and then there's um there's also different ROMs right here there's another one I saw but anyways that's how you install the ROMs and now we're gonna go back in the phone you wanna take this zip file and put it in the root of your phone like I did right here there you go that's all you want to do okay guys now we're back on the phone and when you click install you should see the zip file right there on the main memory of your phone so you're gonna click that zip file and you're just gonna swipe to install now we're just gonna wait for it to be done okay guys our ROM has finally down, uh, installed so what you're going to do is you're going to reboot the system. Now if you had the original, um, you know, the blue logo, the Journey logo should pop on. Now the reason why I am, I am showing you how to install this ROM because I think this is by far the best ROM for this device. Now the process is the same for MIUI. You just have to install the zip files. But the reason why I don't like MIUI is because it drains your battery really quick and, you know, I've had some performance issues with it. Now this ROM seems to be working perfectly fine. There are some annoyances and then you should be stuck in this boot loop right here it should do that a, a while but uh, you know once the phone starts don't get uh, don't get alarmed that this is normal okay our phone is finally rebooting itself we're just gonna click English and we're gonna skip this skip anyways let the apps determine location Google services your phone is set up and ready to use now obviously if you connect to Wi-Fi then you're going to have um, the Google account and as you can see I am now on Lollifox. This is the only thing I don't like about it, the scroll. You know that scroll effect. And as you can see we are on Android version 5.0.2, but this is you know this is actually um, KitKat. But it's a lollipop based on KitKat. And you're gonna notice certain things about it. Like for example the notifications and when you click on here this is the KitKat notifications instead of the lollipop ones but everything else works these are stock Google apps make sure you update everything and you know it's better if you install um, if you install Google launcher it gives experience it makes experience a lot better but yeah guys this is it now you're able to reboot into recovery and of course click on different things I haven't found any issues with it yet sound works, Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, I use it with my Moto 360 but yeah guys this is the ROM I hope it helps and good luck